Hi folks, I want to make a real quick video here on uh, making money with copper pennies. And copper pennies are worth more than the new zinc pennies. Um, I'd recently seen a listing on eBay. A uh, guy sold $10 pennies for $16.49, which is 64.9% profit on the pennies, and the person that bought them paid $4.95 shipping. Now, I know there are some eBay fees involved, but you're looking right around 50% profit. I found another listing, a guy sold $100 worth of copper pennies for $159.95, and he paid for shipping. So there is money to be made in copper pennies. Um, copper pennies were made up until mid-1982, and I've seen videos online that show, oh, you just, 82, there's copper you put in there, well, it's not like a summer copper and summer zinc. So what you really need to do is sort them by weight. And I have a random little pile of pennies here. And I have this, this inexpensive scale. I bought this on eBay for $9.95. They're between $10 and $15, depending on who you buy them from. And I'm going to turn it on. Now, a, copper, a real copper penny is going to weigh, when they're new, where they were new, it was 3.1 grams. And depending on how worn, worn out they are, they could be down to 2.9 grams. And so I'll put a penny on the scale. And there's 3.1. So you know that's a copper penny. Well, there's no copper penny. Oops, it looks like my scale needs to be zeroed. Uh, 2.6, that's a zinc. Okay, 2.6 is a zinc. They usually weigh 2.5. There's 3.1 of copper. There's another zinc. Another zinc. Copper. Copper. It was a little worn. It's 3.0. The zinc, 2.5. Uh, 2.5, here we have 2.4, that's an old zinc, and another zinc. So what I've got here, oops, I missed one. So, so I've sorted, properly sorted, my copper pennies, okay? Um, and once you've sorted your copper pennies, you might want to take a look at the dates. You know, there's a lot of videos on what to look for in pennies on YouTube. I'm not going to do that. It'd just be redundant. There's some really neat people out there, and you may find the holy grail of copper pennies. It would be the 1983. They had at least one that were made with the old copper blanks, and I think that one went for $15,000. Um, so knowing what to look for after you sort separated your copper, if you want to look, you, know, you just want to sell for copper, that's fine too. And a lot of people are doing this, and you may think that, well, hey, there's a lot of people doing this. I'm not going to get any copper pennies, but um, since the U.S. has been minting pennies, they have minted 300 billion. And they estimate that 100 billion of those already been recalled by the mint. Collectors have them. The lost down storm trains run over by trains, or collectors have them. So it leaves 200 billion pennies out there. And relatively small amount of people that are doing this aren't going to make a big dent in them anytime soon. And but those, just to put it in perspective, 200 billion pennies, if you laid them flat in a square, would be over 18,000 acres. Okay? Well, uh, I hope this is uh, good information for you. Good luck.